Welcome back, dear friends of Tactical Gameplay, to another episode of Xenonauts X Division with Midaga. Um, for this one, I will keep mostly quiet. Um, I'll switch my microphone off in between the things I have to say <coughs> because uh, I'm pretty sick and coughing a lot. So, just so you know that. Um, that said, right here we have a UFO with civilians, which will be our first priority of course but we'll uh, before we uh, attack that um, we will see what else comes here I don't think we've seen a scout in a long time I'm not even sure if we even had a, a scout in phase 2. Let's check. Um, oh, there's a medium scout here. Yeah, okay. take this supply run immediately. It's only a light shuttle so this should suffice in terms of firepower I think. Um, two Corsairs against the um, against the two uh, fighters and the firebird against the shuttle roughly speaking. <coughs> um, and I'm sending them from Indochina because they will fly against uh, uh, against the direction whereas I, if I would send them from down here they would start to track them and it would be very an elongated flight we know that it supplies the space so we're gonna do this uh, right away <coughs> the light shuttle so this is two light shuttles and a medium shuttle right Medium scout. That's really uh, peculiar because we didn't have such light waves in a long time, and uh, five should be there. Okay, never mind. Um, normally, five should be their limit, but maybe uh, scouts don't count against that. That might be. So I'm assuming that's all for now. Um, so let's nothing from South America yet, okay. <coughs> let's see um oh yeah I need to re send out of ammo to home. Let's let's first check uh, whether North America can deal with this one alone. Should be able to. And then we'll send stuff against these. One with Azeros. Um, why not heavy fighters against this? And Corsairs and a heavy fighter against this. And then <coughs> also Central America. We want this at home. And then we can also prepare this mission. The one for one. not the ideal anti-fighter force but I 
uh, guess it will have to suffice. Ooh, and another scout, wow. Even very packed, this one. So it either is light shuttle or medium scout, <laughs> which is... Uh, okay, we can send these from here, why not? Could even use them against the ones over there, but I'm not gonna... Okay, this is this one. Mm, we are gonna tail it for a second here. Okay. Oh, they are faster than us, it seems. There's the medium scout, which is this one. I like this music. That was very quick. I had pretty much no chance to to uh, get that research mission. And I don't exactly know what research brings them actually. And this is also very fast there. <coughs> we obviously try to tail it, but it might be hard. Maybe you We'll try to go somewhere like here to catch it, if we can. And for this one, um, let's see if they uh, can start just... basically getting in between. 
the supply ship and the base. It is kind of uh, let's let's send a second squad out there. It is kind of um, risky, but I feel if we have two squads patrolling this airspace, uh, then that would be great. There should also be the option of a squadron like flying a interception course, right? And not just flying straight after the UFO all the time. Um, that is this one, I guess. Ooh, uh, straight head on, that's bad. So, three and one, slow down a bit. Hey, what's and now they are just gonna all fly the same speed. And then we slow down. Slow down time, that is. I don't, I don't like this uh, fighter configuration because that means if we roll now um, we are rolling into the both of them but I can't roll away right now because this one will be faster than my roll will come online again so we're just gonna have to live with that So that's down, that's nice. Let's wrap this up. Now they could be turning inwards, but it's not the time yet because they haven't uh, turned enough yet and that's exactly the problem that can happen with that come on anyone nope okay we're gonna uh, fly outward here we're gonna take a bit of damage but I don't want to uh, eat these missiles if I can uh, afford it. What's happening? I don't know if it's even possible. Oh, why are you not speeding up? Because we don't know. Copy. Fuel levels are pretty low, but we know that they. Wh what is up with you? I said to fly fast. Okay, so we can ultimately evade these missiles. And we need to switch off afterburner here so they can actually somewhat turn. Okay. That was all that we needed. Now we can just uh, let's turn that off. We can just get away if we still can. Hey, what's happening? Uh, it already flipped or still or whatever. But this missile is behind this one. So it should flip outward here. Okay, and now you flip. Drawing heavy fire. Minus 40, 24% fuel. Uh, that's nice. Okay, and now you just fly 
out of the combat zone. Doesn't look too good. Like, what else do we have? Um, we have no air. Yeah, I, I saw that pre-stream <coughs> or pre-recording that we were pretty starved on bombers here. So we might not even. What is this? What, what is Squadron Seven? Oh yeah, this is a bomber squadron. But that means that we should not follow this uh, UFO necessarily, but this one. But I don't know if the fuel still suffices for that. Hmm. No, I think they're gonna take that down and then we don't take the punishment from a bombing mission there. We also have to have a very keen eye on this one up here because it might turn any time. That was also be would also be cool that you can set uh, like if this changes course, notify me and stop time, something like this, because it is very fast, right? If I do even this, um, did it? Did it just go to space? Uh, where is that? I don't really care, okay. Don't even know if they have anti-missiles. We have the Elenium torpedoes, so... Might be that only 50% come through. That also works. Uh, kind of nice to know that with Foxtrot you can actually uh, fire some torpedoes and then get away again. This was dead down here, okay. <coughs> Maybe if this doesn't work we can be fast enough with rearming them to go up there. Um, let's see, we have this situation but I can't really concentrate on this. Um, because of this up there, now they turn around. <laughs> and this UFO just flew the other direction, or what? Yeah, cool. Okay, so you... 
fly here-ish. We can't capture that. Or catch that. Maybe that's uh, why I don't remember that many engagements. My god, how cool was that? <laughs> I I really like that that uh, air war ballet. Ooh, that gave me a real high. <laughs> oh, so cool. Um, I hope you also felt good watching that. <clears throat> that was cool. Thank you. 
Yeah, just one comment here. Uh, you and I, we all realized that I could have sent the bomber squad after sooner and get this UFO down sooner, right? It would be some kind of optimization you could do. Okay. Shock rifle. Um, I won't say no to that, but what I also wanted to have is <coughs> this and that. then we should start thinking about uh, what what to attack right this has priority um, this doesn't and I think we have enough targets we have these this is a good target because of the xenomorphs um, this definitely is a prime target we should be um, sending a squad to right now this is a pretty light encounter, but also something we definitely need to do, right? Or at least we need to shoot it down, and we also want the civilians, of course. And this doesn't have much priority, so something like a one, two, three, four, um, uh, four ground missions there. <coughs> So I think we need to we need to prepare this mission right now so we can get uh, oh no uh, it's actually yeah yeah okay it's actually like one two three or some such and then four so we might not be able to get this in time um, but I'm gonna start equipping teams right now. Um, and I'm just going to be quiet for that, it will take some time. <laughs> Safe. 
saving here because I had the game crash before in this menu. By the way, I'm doing this all uh, like putting everyone uh, out of their equipment and back into the base so I can have, um, uh, how do you say in English, um, like an un. un uh, like a view on the mission that is not dependent on what, what was before, right? I'm just looking at the soldiers. I'm estimating what I'm gonna need and this is what goes in there Seeing this, um, like I want a, I want a tank which is better armored and has uh, more <coughs> firepower on the prime team, basically. Um, but that means I need more uh, suppression weapons um, on my soldiers. So we're gonna keep that in mind. Sorry for the uh, disgusting noise there <laughs> from my throat. <laughs> Like my my uh, default equipment is the laser minigun Mark III, of which we only have one. That's why I get this pop up all the time. Um, <coughs> well, it's also contemplating, uh, uh, worth contemplating, not giving that weapon uh, to the most uh, soldier with the most strength, because it requires the least amount of. Um, um, strength to actually carry because you can take less ammunition and still um, have the same effect so I'm gonna put the best gun here with the least strength of these um, and that's because they all have the same accuracy anyway it's the time units um, are not that great but And uh, Filma as the 
most strength soldier will get the mag mark 2 minigun something like this <coughs> Then we are basically happy with these. Now I'm gonna um, search for a, a scout and B two troops to carry shields. Shields are usually among the lower ranked soldiers, but they need some strength for that. Um, so someone like her. And then um, someone with buzzard armor as a scout should have um, maximum time units, and good reflexes, good accuracy, <coughs> which is basically exclusive to the highest ranked soldiers. Someone like potato, as you see. These reflexes, man. Wow. Don't know how you tanked so many shots that you got 104 reflexes. Now yeah, we're gonna take him. Um, uh, okay, and we're gonna check that. And so this is basically how I build my team. I'm not gonna, I'm not doing this all the time by switching um, between these views, but it definitely helps. Oh yeah, it's the it's the thing that we have the Mark II laser ri uh, uh, Mark II sniper rifle as the standard equipment here. Um, that's why it told me, hey, you can't do that. Let's keep it at that for now. And let's see about these shield units. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, maybe we need even even uh, heavier uh, or stronger soldiers for that. <coughs> Forty-four time units. Okay, it at least stays the same if I put this on. So we're gonna do that, and I think we're gonna put this one back because it, he has uh, around the same strength, right? Seventy, seventy-one. Yeah, we're gonna put him back to sick leave, and we're gonna look for someone with more strength. <coughs> and the rest of the soldiers will basically just uh, be in terms of what what do I think I can get away with. Let's see if this thing is lighter. This thing actually? Oh yeah, it should be. Nice, okay. So she can pack the plasma pistol. can have the mag pistol here. And now I need four riflemen who are also capable of, at least mostly, like three of them should be capable of carrying the uh, shotguns, the mag mark 2 <laughs> 11 of these carbines. Wow. We even have three rifles, nice. Don't have the carbines mark 3 yet? It seems so. We're also gonna have to think about how to subdue an enemy, so maybe we're gonna put someone with really high strength in the team. 
Um, Black Drake Harris, for example, he has made himself. He's really uh, put on some time units. I was, I was really disappointed with him for um, for much of the campaign because he was so slow. But I think he's coming back. <coughs> The rifle mark three, no, it's the cannon. Yeah. Okay. We're going to want these. I think maybe Drake Harris doesn't pack this, just for room. Maybe we'll actually do it like this. <coughs> and then a stun rocket. Shock rocket for the immediate effect. And another stun rocket. Let's actually do the same layout but as a Rocketeer logo. And then we can just save that. <coughs> Could even what pack another one of these. any of these uh, in particular here. Something like this. Okay. <coughs> So now we have one without um, without shotgun. But the fact that we have a one like we have one of each uh, heavy and we have one of each pistol and also we have already potato with uh, two weapon modalities here um, tells me that we should be able to get away with um, two uh, other shotguns or carbines. So two higher strength troops. Let's try that with a Jakob, for example. Low time units. That's bad. Oh, he's so overburdened. Not really happy with that. Maybe we'll do it like this rather. Medkit is too heavy, right? Yeah. Now let's keep the grenades. We don't. Uh, we didn't do the big smokes yet. We really should. No, everything too heavy.
Sergei Sokolov. It's like uh, I I know Sergei Koroyev was a an, uh, Soviet astronaut and later some functionary in the in the, in Roscosmos, I think. And Sokolov also rings a bell as a as a name for for someone of that. Um, of that function, maybe a researcher or something. No, something like this. <coughs> and then we need a last one with a bit more strength. my team together I'm going to determine who I'm going to overburden like that's not all of them I usually keep the scout free and I also keep <coughs> at least one heavy weapons dude free um, in case we uh, we really need to um, to pin something down on turn one it's not too likely, but it might happen. Okay, all, all are at their limit. Gonna keep potato free, we're gonna keep uh, Minoru free. Drake Harris is almost at uh, his max anyway, but we're gonna give him two medkits to drop at the start. So that is basically our medical needs more or less done I think. Uh, these troops have a bit little amount of that um, so maybe we'll have someone have like two more. Ah, maybe four. <laughs> so like one Shear troop, the the one with more time units to stay free, um, and the other one can just pack something like grenades. And then there's also the quest for ammo. Um, let's actually keep it like this, because if we unpack these, then these will also drop in price. Uh, we need an extra shield. One extra shield suffices mostly in most instances, but we're gonna we're gonna do two now. Um, and also weapon stuff. Um, bit of plasma. I don't think we need more than eighteen shots from the sniper rifle. <coughs> and also a bit of mag stuff and then I think we can pretty much be happy with that We have medequip, we have extra shields, we have smoke grenades and we have uh, 
um, ammo so we basically have all and the last thing um, that I'm doing is uh, re that's my uh, perfect where is my scout back here up there laser minigun mark 3 we have the tank out front so I think that should work out okay I'd rather have a shield up front here and these shields in the middle and you can also shoot immediately right basically you only have two medkits more all the miniguns are here I'm gonna have one on this corner and one here like uh, basically there's two at this corner but that's okay yeah I think that should be okay and then we roll out Oh, at night? Do we do that at night? We maybe don't. Maybe we do. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe we actually do. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it seems risky, but we are well equipped. We're gonna play it slow anyway, so we can capture this engineer. And I think with two more civilians, we we should actually do that, so we have a chance of getting all of this, and also maybe some xenomorphs for melee weapons because we lost our axe. Um, no, we're gonna do a night mission. Okay. <coughs> Technically speaking, I should also be sending squad two here. Um, uh, you are patrolling the coast. That is okay. Maybe you come more down here. Ooh, fuel levels are pretty low. Uh, let's return you to base. Just see if maybe something from here can can fly towards that. Not really. Yeah, I think um how late is it? Yeah, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. It's been around an hour. Um maybe we'll we'll wait for this air um yeah we'll we'll have this uh air conflict in again in still like this 7% victory that's uh, more than I need maybe I should actually go here um, because then they are more drawn out and not in a line right We even have the focus lens, so the Corsair should concentrate on the shuttle, I think. They can't even see. <laughs> Nice shuttle down with one focus lens, but it does so heavy damage, wow. Come on. This is looking good, stay tight. Nice. 
Ice Corsair should go out now. Why does it only have one of these? That was close. <coughs> nice, okay. So with that said, that mission should take priority, obviously, because once we get back to this it will also be in daylight. And then there's only the question of this mission. <coughs> so we're gonna prepare for this actually, uh, Bravo team, and then um, we'll see each other in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Um, be excellent to each other. Bye bye.